Hey, what's going on, guys? Anthony Grillo, these Lutz. So, yeah, I was just tooling around on Vimeo yesterday and looking at some FS7 videos, and I came across Kino Lut. And the Kino Lut looked like an interesting uh, Lut to review, so I did purchase it for $18. Uh, it looked very familiar and similar to the M31 Lut. So I figured I'd give you guys a quick comparison to the M31 and the Kino LUT. So here's a clip. It has skin tones in it, so I went with this one because I wanted to show you guys with something with, um, obviously, with some skin tones. And so this is the clip. Uh, this is not shot in RAW. This is uh, just uh, Rec. 709. So when you buy the Kino LUT package, you get... Darker, dark, original, bright, and brighter. So they each have the top one, one, two, three, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The top nine are for your Rec. 709 uh, images. And then the, the seven below are, well, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry. So the nine and the nine. Uh, are the nine up top are for Rec. 709. The nine at the bottom are for your your uh, raw images, like your Cinema DNG files from the Black Magic. But this clip was shot in uh, Rec. 709, so we only have the top nine to choose from. Uh, so you can go into your original dark. Let's just pick original, and I'll show you the. Uh, as soon as you add the LUT, that is the image that you start with with the Kino LUT package. F, and I will now show you the M31 so you guys can see. See, there's same thing with the log and then the uh, Rec. 709. So that is the Rec. 709 uh, LUT of the M31. So a little quick, we'll just undo that and you guys can see a quick before and not a before and after as much as a what am I getting and how similar or how different are they. So that is the base beginning. You get more, I think, for your money with the Kino than you do with the, the uh, M31 because you could simply, you know, go if you want a, a darker image, you can go with a dark cool to begin with. And that looks really nice to start your grade. Um, so these are just a couple of the, the more options that you will have with the Kino. So let's reset, let's let's build one out and we'll get you guys out of here. So here's your traditional Rec. 709. And yeah, let's build out just three today. Uh, we'll start with the three, we'll go to 3D LUT. We'll locate our original and let's add a warm one. And we'll start right from here. We'll go into uh, zero one, we don't have Anything to do with uh, on, the, on the master settings because it's not shot in RAW. So you're not able to change anything as, as you see me do numerous times with the, the Blackmagic RAW, RAW file. So let's go into our curves. Get out of saturation, saturation. Make sure we're unganged. That we are. Oh, make it a little bit larger. Make this a little bit larger. And let's just start playing around with pulling down uh, as a group that you know that looks pretty good all right let's just try a reverse s curve and see if we like that better i like that um, a little we'll mess around with the blue curve we'll pull down uh, right about there a uh, small S curve on our red channel. And remember, guys, you can you can bring the intensity down here as well if you so desire. So let's turn that. It made a little bit of difference. So let's see if we pull down from the center. Hmm. I really feel on the red. Oh, that starts to look a little. That that looks nice. Uh, so pull up a little bit on the red. Uh, maybe we'll go back into the blue channel and see. There we go. And before we move forward, let's 
do our output play aspect ratio 2.35 so you guys can see now where we are with our boxers getting ready to brawl it out I don't really feel like getting in the ring with this guy this is uh, obviously shot in slow-mo playing back at a tremendously slow-mo pace but uh, you know that's actually starting to do a really nice job um, the Kino LUD package and we'll go to our if we can get second LUT here, and uh, we'll do our, we'll sharpen it up from here. Pull it down to about 45, 46. I want to overdo it. Uh, LUT th serial node 3 is where we put our LUT. Alt S, we'll create a new serial node. Let's see if saturation versus saturation does anything. Let's start on the right and pull it up. We'll move it down here. I'm not trying to kill, oversaturate the image with that teal and orange that we see all the time. So, you know, I'm just trying a little bit, think a little bit outside the box here with the uh, Kino LUT. So let's turn off three and see where how far we've come. So that's where we started. Actually, making it nice. It's a de decent bit of decent, decent, uh, decent grade here. Like I got, like I say, I'm not a professional colorist, if you will. But you know, as I play around with DaVinci more and more and more and more, you know, I hope you guys are seeing the value of a free tool such as DaVinci and these cheap LUTs that make your life oh so simple when grading. And so then, on the last serial node, we're gonna do our. Luma versus saturation curve. Pull down here. Pull up around here. That's nice right about there. Uh, if we pull down a bit. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so I like that. I like where, I like where, we, where we're here, where we're at right now. So here we are. Came out really, really nice, in my opinion. If you don't like, I understand. I didn't make the LUT. You, it's okay by me. But I'm just doing this so you guys can see the different options and the different um, styles that you can create with the Kino LUT compared to just getting the M31 and going from there. You have all these temperature variations, uh, you know, in the original dark, darker, bright and brighter. I mean, that's a lot of options for 18 bucks. Uh, well worth it, in my humble opinion. Um, but use your money. You do what you like with it. I'm just trying to show you guys what I didn't see enough of before I made pulled my trigger. But since this is what I like to do for you guys, I didn't mind spending the 18 bucks. So let's turn everything off, make it large, and get you out of here. Now, like I said, this is all you know, flavored to taste type situation. So, you know, what's good for me may not be good for you, and what your eyes see may not be, you know, what I think is good. So I understand that. All right, so that's the before. And we'll get a chat here after we show you this, this after. If I'm moving too fast, guys, oh, you know, stop me. Just tell me to slow down. Um, but I think, you know, the way I used to learn was pull up the iPad next to the computer and watch somebody, uh, somebody do some things and then do it for myself. All right, beautiful. I think it came out really, really nice. I'm impressed so far with the Kino LUT package. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, or if you just plain hate the LUT, let me know. I will talk to you guys next time. And this is Anthony Grillo, and this is these LUTs. Talk to you guys next time. Have a great day.